Kiko's like entire bracket has been Genoa. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they because all three, all three oh, Shenmue are so really mean. good, so they've gotten, they all got very far. Right? Round one. Definitely a, a different change of pace for the start. Usually, I see just kind of like right off the bat action from Tian's, but seeing jump back into the neutral start was definitely different. Um, this looks a lot more like what I've been seeing for most of the tournament, though, just driving someone into the corner and going for Mix-Up City, but that reversal is really nice. It's going to put the pressure in Hyper Hiko's favor. Impressive. Alright, and Hyper Hiko's turned around. So Piggy had a gr strong start, but it's looking like now that he's in the corner, he's having trouble getting out. But he just rolled out. Ooh. Rekka's blocks. That Rekka, every hit of it is actually punishable. So if you manage to block all of it without push blocking, then you can get your punish. Oh, that's really interesting. This is assuming Paprika doesn't cancel into command grab, of course. Right, right. I figured this much. This is kind of like one of those like interesting situations because we've got like a ton of Tians coming in this time. Um, a match well fought. Because I think we, I think well Derpinator is waiting in Grands, right? Right. Yeah. Derp is waiting, waiting in Grands. So that's one Shen. One Shen uh, is out of the bracket now, but got pretty far. Uh, and then we have this Shen in uh, Loser Semis. Yeah, and then I think it's Icebound is waiting whoever wins this one in right. Losers, Losers Finals. Finals. Yeah, so this is getting pretty big here. So Picky's combos are just looking a little like like he's been he's been having a lot of them good, but he's dropping one every so often. A little bit better there. Yeah. Oh nice. Okay, blocks the two cartwheels. So interestingly Paprika's cartwheels is yet another part of a Rekka game. It's minus three on block, but it is cancelable into the Rekka. So whenever you block it, you're not sure whether you should punish it, or take your turn, or just keep blocking, or even maybe push block it to get it away from you. Right, and, because the Rekka can frame trap you. Right. And there we were seeing some, uh, Paprika taking advantage of that. But right now, I wonder if he's gonna go for install. He is. He needs as much damage as he can get right now, especially yeah. since he has three bars. My combo well. can't shut up install, which is huge. Ooh. Ooh, and the super That's is not invincible on the way back in. That clash, yeah. Ooh, no punish. Honey is just too far away to get that punish. But it doesn't matter, he gets the neutral win and just oh. starts to convert it. It's the American reset into the corner pressure, though. <laughs> <laughs> And time is clicking down. Oh, interesting he spent he chose to spend the bar. Oh, that was I, almost very good. I, I think maybe it was a countermeasure just in case he got hit by a TP there. Do not let it did if it was a countermeasure, it didn't work. <laughs> right. <laughs> but he does still win that one. There was kind of yeah. a bit of scramble at the end there. And Zapiki mm -hmm. does take the first game. That was that was very, very close. Yeah. Almost uncomfortably so. <laughs> and this is a first of two, so right now Hyperhiko is on his, uh, his tournament life right now. He's playing for Hyper Hyperhiko life. is uh, is fighting for the right to be in the group photo at the moment. <laughs> right. Exactly. I reckon you're in for a reckon. Come, show me your power. And the switch to Arizona. Okay. Fight. Well, yeah, as I was saying before, uh, Shenhua is one of Paprika's hardest matchups. I definitely so... can see that for sure. I think the Arizona switch is going to potentially open things up a bit. Uh, but it all depends on how it all depends on how comfortable he is with his Arizona as opposed mm -hmm. to his pack. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just get the opening here. Oh, and this could be some big damage. No. Let's see. So the cross-up... The weird cross up. Okay, here's where we're gonna see some damage. <laughs> and one of the valuable things about this counter pick is that Zapiggy 
just spent, you know, a whole game, a pretty close game against this Paprika. He's kind of his brain is in Paprika mode. And all of a sudden he has to deal with uh, Arizona. That switches things up kind of heavily. It, it, it does definitely affect the mental game, for sure. It doesn't look like Zapiggy's having the biggest problem in the world adapting to the Arizona pick. Um, at least that's what this corner pressure is kind of telling me. Oh, he's just gonna kill, he's gonna spend the bar probably. Yep. Yep, here comes the bar. I think this kills, yep. You're not a warrior yet. You have much to learn. So I chose, let's see what the round start option is. 6A, that's very classic from Arizona. Uh, probably one of the reasons to pick Arizona is for that splendid anti-error, but the piggy did avoid it and is now worth punishing it. But this is another reason to pick Arizona, to actually have a reversal. Goodness gracious, that was absolutely fantastic. And the damage conversion off of that was just massive. That was just 50% of Tiano's life bar just gone. Right. Even including the fact that he whiffed, uh, dropped three stomps. Right. <laughs> A good 5D. And this won't kill, but it'll bring him into, like, next tech range. I don't think we'll kill. <laughs> I'm gonna hold by my guns. I think it'll just barely, yeah. Do have install and neutral though, which is nice, but it doesn't matter at all. Gets caught out oh, there. Oh, and turns it around, D. and that's it. It's over now. Oh, and I think it's a piggy wins that one too. Oh. That's, that's the two. That's well the enough. queen two zero oh right there with the adaptation. But strong showing from Hyper Hiko there, getting to fourth place, uh, and really showing a good showing with both characters. That said, absolutely.